everyone welcome to this update video i really hope you're having a fabulous morning thus far so we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery and there we can see that frontal system which is making its way through parts of the eastern u.s and uh, there is that other system associated with an area of low pressure that had induced some showers across parts of the caribbean but the bulk of it is now offshore and also we see a couple of thunderstorms here and there over in the Pacific uh, for parts of Northern South America. So we'll be talking about that system affecting the U.S. as well as take a look at the rainfall forecast for today. And even an outlook for the first two weeks of April in terms of the precipitation and temperature. So let's get into it. As we zoom into the Gulf, there we can see all of that activity and those white dots you're seeing indicate lightning strikes. So there's some thunderstorms, uh, maybe with damaging winds and hail across parts of Florida this morning, especially the Big Bend area stretching into Georgia and the Carolinas. So that's the story with the system making its way out. It will gradually weaken, but could increase the rainfall activity across parts of the Caribbean slightly. Now, as we take a look at the uh, Caribbean region though we can see that much is not happening it's pretty dry and quiet right now but there are a few showers loitering around in parts of the Lesser Antilles for areas such as St. Lucia, St. Vincent so you can let me know in the comments what's going on for your area but for most countries within the region much is not happening this morning. As we're going to be heading through today, this is a look at the rainfall forecast from Euro. We can see some of those darker uh, red and purple shadings offshore. So the bulk of rainfall, as I said, that's going to be offshore, not going to be affecting anyone. But in the vicinity of the Lesser Antilles, there could be a few more showers passing by here and there and near the ABC Islands as well. But parts of Puerto Rico... There may be some downpours, same story for the Virgin Islands, not guaranteed for everywhere. Most of Hispaniola, Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, the Bahamas, and Turks and Caicos Islands should remain dry. Same story for parts of Central America. But as we saw, there is some thunderstorm activity in the Pacific, and some of that has affected Costa Rica and Panama. Colombia, as we know, very active, a lot going on in some areas but uh, for most of venezuela guyana going to Suriname, much isn't happening nor expected as we're going to be heading through today looking at the wind forecast so winds have been kicking up a bit in the northwestern caribbean offshore uh, mexico belize honduras as we can see some of those darker purple and those blue shadings popping up even in the gulf as well with that next system moving out and then for uh, much of the rest of the caribbean winds aren't going to be too crazy but it may get a little bit breezy and then this is a look at the dry air map so all of these yellows oranges reds you're seeing indicate the dry air now some of this is in association with the saharan air layer not all of it especially further to the west but uh, some of it especially closer to africa is associated with the saharan air layer which originates from the sahara desert in north africa and may uh, the plumes may blanket the caribbean from time to time so it's very dry right now the relative humidity is pretty low and as a result much isn't going on across the Caribbean. There isn't a whole lot of atmospheric instability to uh, develop a lot of thunderstorms and bring us some substantial rain. However, as we're going to be progressing towards summer, going to May, June, we're definitely going to be seeing a different story. We're going to be seeing more rainfall activity across the region. And so finally, we're going on to the updated Global Tropics Hazards Outlook Map from the Climate Prediction Center. So we've got the forecast for uh, the first half of April. We've got week two, which goes from April 3rd to the 9th, and week three, which goes from April 10th to 16th. So as it relates to week two, let's zoom in here. We can see these different colored lines. Now, the brown indicates below average rain, the green above average rain, and the yellow above average temperatures and those values we see indicate the chance of that actually happening for uh, whichever uh, area is highlighted so we can see that parts of the northern caribbean sections of jamaica going to eastern cuba the southern bahamas and turks and caicos islands hispaniola puerto rico southern bahamas turks and caicos islands the virgin islands and even the northern leeward islands such as anguilla are within that 50 percent chance 
of below average rain, which means it could be drier within that time period. Next, we see those yellow lines for parts of Central America, especially Mexico, including Belize, Guatemala, and even towards South America, parts of Colombia, Venezuela, the Guyanas, and even including Trinidad, Tobago, and the ABC Islands. So up to an 80% chance at the highest for above average temperatures for the area, back to Central America up to a 50 and even a 65% chance of above average temperatures. So it's gonna be warming up there. And then as we head towards the vicinity of Costa Rica, Panama, we see that green line with of course a 50% chance of above average rainfall. So that's likely to be the story as we head into early April. And then we're moving on to week three. And again, that goes from the week of the 10th to the 16th of April. We can see that it's really just South America highlighted again above average temperatures and also that chance of below average rainfall activity. So as I said, eventually uh, the rainfall activity is going to be increasing in the region. But for now, it is quiet, it is dry, which is typical of the dry season. So guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update video, and I really hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.